I'm now joined by Stephen uh, Lambert and uh, John Rumble, and we're here to talk about the important links between the applied physics community and uh, the APS. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Pleasure to be here, thank John, you. John, give us some of the background to, to, to this discussion. Sure, over the last few years, the American Physical Society has spent a lot of time thinking about its future, and it realized that better serving the industrial physics community is one of its important goals. So as I became chair of FIOP, the Forum on Industrial Applied Physics, uh, I started working with the APS uh, leadership, including Stephen, and said, let's get together a bunch of industrial physicists and see what's really on their mind so we can better serve uh, address those needs and, and make sure that we serve them better. So Stephen, uh, you, you conducted this review, didn't you? Tell us a little bit about the review and some of the, the main points coming out. Right, so we got together uh, people from a broad range of industrial physics, people with experience working in industry, and uh, we held a workshop for one and a half days in October. And uh, we came up with many different action items. I'll highlight three. Uh, one of them is we, the APS has a public affairs office in Washington, D.C., and their job is to bring before Congress items of interest to the physics community. And for some time, they've been asking for input from industry. However, uh, we haven't had a forum or a mechanism for bringing that together. So as a consequence of the workshop, we are going to form an industrial uh, policy advisory committee, which will be sponsored by FIOP, and it will be their job to collect this kind of information and present it to the Public Affairs Office. Um, another is the APS doesn't have a mechanism to interact uh, directly with companies that are affected by uh, the physics community. Right. The industrial physics is a huge part of industry and we, we will be forming an industrial physics advisory board that will bring that corporate perspective to the APS and we will use the workshop and the participants from the workshop as the foundation for that. And the last thing I would mention is there have been uh, several reports made by different entities in Europe on the importance of industrial physics to the economy. And uh, we would like to sponsor a similar report on the importance of industrial physics to the U.S. economy and highlight and bring statistics for how critical it is for the development of technology and for creation of jobs to have a healthy industrial physics community. Let's just uh, pick up quickly on that last point that you made. Uh -huh. I mean, the United States is home to some of the great engineering powerhouses of the world, isn't it? I mean, think of some of the, the companies, the apples of uh, the world. So how important is it that, uh, that we sort this out? I think it is critical because the technological, technological foundations that we have in the U.S. for a broad range of industries, whether it's aerospace or consumer electronics or industrial processes, uh, are built on the fundamental discoveries that have happened in physics that have been implemented in uh, corporations by physicists working in industry. So I think it is critical to have a healthy and vibrant community that is well connected with one, within themselves and with their corporations. John, can I finish with uh, you? There's a lot of initiatives, not just this at the moment, there's a lot of initiatives to bring the communities uh, closer together. What other kind of stuff is happening at the conferences? Well, for example, uh, about 70% of the physicists who get graduate degrees end up in non-academic careers, many of them in the industry. So we have started a, a, with the APS a series of uh, lunches and other sessions to uh, let students hear from industrial physicists and then ask plenty of questions. Uh, there's one today and usually there's about two hours of questions and answers and we find that the students really benefit from the opportunity to ask questions such as do I have to buy a tie uh, or how do you actually set your research agenda industry. We enjoy doing it and they enjoy hearing from us. Gentlemen, thank you both very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you.